The enemy was just pushing you down. You couldn't get a job. You couldn't do this. You know, you couldn't get ahead. You, you know, you couldn't make friends. You just on and on and on. What's happening? The enemy is treading on you to conquer you and your breath. Now, that's serious. Why? Because he's given me all authority, all rights, all rulership of conquering. Because I can tread on something. I can step on it. Instead of letting that situation get you, you say, "Uh uh-uh, I see this. I know what this is. I know why this is happening. I refuse to let my breath, oh God, I'm the first one in the praise up on on my feet. I'm the first one shouting hallelujah. Why? Because my breath force comes out of my mouth through my actions and behaviors as well. And as I begin to tread on the serpent, well, I went to the enemy's camp and I <coughs> took back what he stole. Oh, yes, hallelujah, I took back what he stole from me. I know I can't sing anymore, but it don't matter. Maybe never could. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't care. <laughs> Why don't I care? Because I'm going to tread. I'm going to stomp on something. I'm going to walk it out, right? I'm going to conquer. It's not conquering me. It can't have my breath anymore, Cindy. It can't have my breath anymore, Bill. It can't have your breath anymore. Why? Because greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Who's in the world? We're not talking about people. We're talking about a spirit that comes to kill, steal, and destroy, based on John 10.10, He comes to do you in. He comes to rob you of your life force through whatever way He can. And He intends to conquer you, and He will conquer you if you allow Him to. So now, you're talking about a different level here. Wait a minute. I've been given all authority. I love coming to this corner. I've been given all authority to stomp on the devil. All the kids raise up. Come here, all you little kids. Come up here. Come here. Yeah, you'll, you'll have fun. Come on, don't be bashful. Come on. All the kids, big kids. Yeah, come on. Let's show them something. Let's get up here on the stage. Woo! Come on. Come up here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to... We're going to create something new. I know. Y'all don't, don't worry about them out there, okay? Don't be, don't be bashful. All right, here's what we're going to do. we got something new we're going to do today. We're going to become... Let me, y'all gather up right here. Let me tell you. What happened to them? I think they're embarrassed, and we'll we'll give them that, okay? I think they're embarrassed, but 
Gracie, you'll do it. And Caitlin, you'll do it. Okay. Now grab their hand. Grab her hand. Grab her hand. Grab her hand. Grab her hand. Okay. Where the stop turn? Woo! Okay. Okay, one more time. Now you can do your own thing. Where the stomp church? Where the stomp church? Stomp, 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 stomp. Where the stomp church? Come on, where the stomp church? Stomp, go, Ella Kate. Woo, look at Ella Kate. Woo, that girl's got it. Look. Yeah, come on, let's stomp them out. Woo! Yeah, what we doing? Boy, we got it. Now, how'd they do? Thank you. Thank you. You can go sit down if you want to. Oh, I'm so glad you came today. I'm glad. Wow. Wow. You need to give another big hand. Why? What did we see happening? Come on, what did we see happening? We saw some that were a little shy. Man, that allocate, she's got some stuff going on with her. She is going to be a stomper. So don't get in her way, right? In a God way. Why? Because God has given us all authority to stomp, to tread on the enemy's head. Why? You know, the first little group, whoever the first couple little that came with me, the first two, you know, we didn't make much, much noise, did we? It was just mainly my big mouth, right? I know, I know, it's all right. Anyway, but then what happened when we got a few more? It became a little bit stronger, louder. And then when we finally got the ones who were a little shy, maybe had never done that before in church, right? You know, didn't want to look like a fool for Christ, you know, but we didn't leave them. We went until we could get them and make them part of the whole. Now, I don't know about you, but that is a powerful principle of what God wants to do with a body of believers. See, if we, if we will take our authority and use it against the enemy and don't leave anybody behind, then we will become such a force that there is nothing that can stop the movement and the advancement of the kingdom of God. So you need to use your authority. Amen? Praise God. I know that was rough. Um, maybe we could have said a lot of other things. I feel like there's people that have um, some issues with your breathing, and you need to let God. You need to let God begin to do something in you. And I want to suggest that you go and you take this Luke chapter 10 and that verse and you ponder over that. You sit in your chair with your cup of coffee and you and the Lord just sit there and don't try to read a bunch of other stuff. Just take that scripture and say, Lord, I obviously am not utilizing the scripture to the level and the degree that I need to. So Lord, I want you to show me how to use authority. And I want you to show me the life that you have right in this Scripture. Amen? Stand to your feet with me this morning.
we're moving towards some advancements in the kingdom of God. I want to thank you for being here today and for being patient and just letting God just work and say what he needs to say. So all mine's clear. All mine's clear. In the next few weeks, we're going to be having some special services. Mother's Day, I know, is coming up. I'm not sure if that's next Sunday or the, is it next Sunday? Okay. Well, mothers, you want to be here. We love Mother's Day. Amen? So uh, we'll see you next Sunday. And just bow your heads right now. Father, right now, I just pray over every person that's here, Lord, under the sound of my voice that may feel a lack of breath in their physical body. And God, I pray that right now your Holy Spirit would begin to stir up in them, Lord, that they might once again come back to you, God. Not to people, not even to churches, Lord, but to get back their breath, your breath, so that they can pour it out, God. And I thank you for it and praise you for it, Lord. I release these people to be wooed by the Holy Spirit this week. I pray, Lord, that there's some people who already know that they're supposed to take their breath, their life breath, and go lay hands on somebody else that's sick. And Lord, I see in particular one particular person, can't see the face, but I see them just going and laying their hands on somebody that is, has been so ill and not even praying out loud. I just see that their hands ha is imparting life to them and moving out that pain. So, Father, I thank you because you're speaking different things to different ones of us. Let us use our breath of God, the anointing of God, to heal and to touch and to minister in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. I came up here to get her attention. We had a neighbor a while ago, that phone call that I had. It was a lady sitting in our driveway, running from her husband. She has five children, and he's trying to kill her and her children. <clears throat> if you don't think the enemy is trying to destroy you, a lady with five children, ex-husband has beat her, tried to kill her, and she was running from him a while ago and came in our driveway to get away from him. Yeah. I wonder why. I'm not going to call her name because some of you may know her. But y'all be praying for this lady. She's in trouble. Yes, let's do it right now. Just everybody across the room, just pray out however you feel. Father, right now, we come against the spirit of murder that is coming against this woman and her children. Lord, we come against that spirit of abuse. And God, we know that we can send your spirit right now to right where that uh, thing is happening or where that person is that has that spirit of murder. And we command that spirit to cease and desist right now in the name of Jesus. We command that the physical body would react and respond right now to the life-giving flow of the anointing of God right now. Let it manifest in his body, Lord, and put him, let him have a God encounter in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we just cover this, this woman and her children, God. And we, we just pray, Lord, help us be instruments of right doing, God. Help us do what we need to do to help her, Lord, in whatever way we can can, Father, and we thank you for it, Lord. We seal their protection up, and we command all the unseen forces that are surrounding this to back up now in the name of Jesus, and we thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just believe the Spirit is moving right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Just, just take just a minute. I just feel like the Lord wants to show us something. Thank you, Lord. Let your discernment work and flow. If you just, in Jesus' name. God, we don't even know. We can't even comprehend running for our lives, Lord. Cover, cover, cover. Holy Spirit, cover them. Draw them under. Thank you, Jesus. We send confusion into the enemy's camp right now. We send confusion there that, that he, he'll be so confused he won't know which way is up. Thank you, Lord. We shut all the entryways into this woman and her children. We close all doors. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.